What's up, Fichero fam? So I've done so many videos about Las Vegas, and as a result, I've gotten a lot of messages and comments and DMs regarding so many things Vegas-related. And one of the biggest ones, especially with summer approaching us, is is there a difference between a Vegas pool party and a Vegas hotel pool? For example, if you go to MGM Grand, like say you're staying in MGM Grand, MGM Grand has their own hotel pool that you can easily go into and relax. But they also have Wet Republic, which is another pool party. So people have asked, like, wait, is it, are they the same thing? Are, are, is Wet Republic and the Engine Grand Hotel Pool the same thing? What's the differences? Are they similar? So on and so forth. Now, here's a really good analogy. Think of the hotel pool as a random bar in the hotel and think of the pool party as a nightclub. Now, what typically happens is most hotels obviously not only host a nightclub, but they also host a day club or a pool party. And these pool parties and day clubs are usually made by the same people who create the nightclub. They're basically a more upscale, intense, crazy raging version of the hotel pool. So for example, let's say you're MGM and you want to go to the pool, all you really need is, you know, kind of your shorts and sandals. You just kind of show your hotel, you know, key and you flash it and you walk in and that's it, right? It's, it's pretty similar to get there. There's usually a DJ at these hotel pools. Uh, it's kind of a, a party, so to speak, but it's a lot more low key, right? You have a couple different areas you can check out in terms of the pool and the jacuzzi and, or the hot tub. You have people relaxing there. You can grab a drink if you want. So the hotel pools are a lot more low key. So if let's say you want to start your day off on a very easy note, right? You, you're, you've had a crazy night. You kind of want to relax just a little bit. Hotel pools are the way to go. Now, the pool parties, are usually around the same time frame, except one, they're a lot more intense in terms of getting in. They usually search you a lot more aggressively and so on and so forth. The second thing is that even though you, let's say, might be staying at MGM and you want to go to Wet Republic, or let's say you're staying at Mandalay Bay and you want to go to Daylight, which is Mandalay Bay's pool party, they usually do charge, right? Also, there's different ways to get into these pool parties for free. I have a link list below to basically all my biggest videos, and I've done a ton of videos about how to get into there for free. But basically, the pool parties are a more upscale version of that. So you usually walk in, there's usually a, you know, usually a bigger pool than the typical pool at the hotel. There's usually like an A-list DJ or someone performing, right? As opposed to the hotel pool, it's usually just kind of like a resident DJ, or sometimes they don't even have a DJ. Sometimes there's just music playing on the speakers. The pool party is, as it sounds, a usually a raging party with an A-list DJ, you know, tons of people buying tables all around the pool, you know, usually a gigantic dance area, like I said, if you want to be dancing and everything, and it's a way more upscale version, right? And that's why I said, one of the best ways to think of it is think of like the hotel pool, like a common bar in the hotel that you can walk into, you can grab a drink, you can kind of relax, and the pool party is basically the exact same thing as a nightclub, except during the daytime.